I think it's more human to be loving and kind and compassionate than it is to be hateful and separate. Mm. There, yes, there's a lot of that there. Sure. There certainly has been. And some of that's been orchestrated. Sure. Right? But at the core of every human being is goodness. Okay. And I, I, I've raised three kids. I've never seen any evil in any of those children. I see the development of the ego around about two years of age, sure. and they can be bickering and arguing and some minor fighting, but I don't see evil. Mm. Evil has to be learned. Okay. It's a conditioned reaction to the environment in which the person spent usually the first seven years, wow. which is the emotional years. The, sure. the formation of the emotion is from one to seven. Gotcha. Mental is from seven to 14. Physical is from 14 to 21. If you yeah. look at your own Makes life, sense. Yeah, totally. um, when as a child we can't enunciate anything but we can smile yeah. or pull a funny face right. and then we start reading around about seven usually and start analyzing and planning and able to use logic right. and then at around about 14, it's a little bit earlier now, but going through puberty, being more physically orientated, what we'd look like, how do we feel. Yes. Um, engage in sports, act, outdoor activities, mm. so that that's a process over those 21 years mm. of our components of emotions, mental and physical. Uh, depending on the environment in which we are born into and brought up, uh, we will assimilate those characteristics, those behaviours as our own and believe that they're our own, they're not, they're somebody else's, mm. um, and then go and perpetrate those outside. So it can be either a positive or negative type of uh, behavior. That's a fascinating concept. I, do, you, do you see that? I mean, is that part of a cycle or is that you're 21 and you're done now? No, you keep... So then, uh, you know, because like most things in nature happen in cycles, yes. right? We, we, go, we go spring, summer, autumn, yes. winter. Well, we're not done. There's another spring. Yes. Right? <laughs> uh, it is. Everything is cyclical. So at 21, all right, Generally, uh, this is wildly general, sure. but you are in relationships, right? We might be married or in a relationship with a, with a partner, which is going to now, instead of you dealing or looking at your own emotions, right, as an isolated case, you're now under the roof of somebody else, mm -hmm. engaging with their emotions. Mm -hmm. So this is where emotional intelligence starts to go. Mm -hmm. It's not how we deal with our own emotions, but how we deal with others. So at 21, we start engaging in other emotions. And then most of us make a, a big mess of that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then you go through this, perhaps another cycle as you, as you grow through this another emotional period. You find ways of dealing with it and yeah. uh, more logical ways perhaps, more analytical ways of, of living. And then there's another span of physicality so, yeah, beautiful. That's um, that sounds like a big topic. I'm really curious about that, and we'll put a bookmark in that one for now. <laughs> Can we come back to that? Sure. Uh